right, we're in the News 9 kitchen today, and I'm joined by Tracy Kutrafitz and also Jay Legendra from Function Spirits and Spoonfills, which is located on Elm Street in Manchester. And you're making this pesto risotto. Yes. It looks wonderful. You have it plated over there. But uh, risotto, is a, it takes a little time. It does. It does. Probably about 45 minutes to get the risotto to where you want it before you can start adding flavors to it. Awesome. So yeah. uh, what are we adding in here? So I've got the risotto ready to go. We're going to be adding sun-dried tomatoes, peas, pesto, and some Parmesan cheese. All right. And tell me a little bit more about the restaurant if people are not familiar with it. So we're located over on 931 Elm Street, uh, right across the street from Ben & Jerry's. We do small shareable plates, American, kind of American tapas. Um, our goal is to create a, an environment that's a more social environment, so people come in, they share the plates, they share the experience of the different tastes of the foods, hopefully share more conversation than most people do with, with cell phones nowadays, and uh, it, we've been getting great reviews, P plates are going back empty, so that's a, that's a good thing. That's wonderful. Now this is absolutely beautiful with the bright green, and tell me about some of the other dishes that you're serving out there, the small dishes. So we have uh, one of our bigger sellers is uh, we have pulled pork mm -hmm. with caramelized onions. That's a that's a definitely a big mm -hmm. seller. We have um, Asian chicken meatballs, which are very very good. Um, we just started. We just changed our menu a little bit because people were asking for our full entrees. So we do have uh, full burger plates now. We've got buffalo tofu. We tried to make the, Tracy tried to make the menu so that. If you go in with a group of people and somebody's a vegetarian or somebody's gluten free and somebody likes meat, everybody's going to be able to order off. Yeah, of this menu. there's something right. for everyone. Now, there can is. you order this risotto as a meal? You can. You could. Yep. Yeah. All yeah. right. And so you've a, added some peas in there. Yeah, added the sun dried tomatoes and the peas and the Parmesan cheese. So what did you use for your pesto too? I know you can use different things. Um, well, this is a, a standard pesto. This is basil, um, garlic, olive oil. It does not have the pine nuts in it, so that we could do a nut free dish. Um, so it's vegetarian, and we can also do it vegan without the Parmesan cheese. And there's so much that you have to take into consideration mm -hmm. now when you're trying to create a menu at these restaurants with so many people having allergies, exactly. right? Exactly. But you offer something for everyone, it we seems. We do, we do. Wow. And then uh, this looks beautiful over here. Thank you. you have some Parmesan on top and everything. Yep. Looks beautiful. Thank you. And uh, what are some of the, uh, anything going on special for the holidays? We're doing, uh, for New Year's Eve, we're doing um, three seatings so that it's going to be a very specific. Uh, options for your choices for the dinners just so that we can have kind of set people coming in so we can let our employees at some point in the evening enjoy their New Year's Eve. All right. Well, this looks lovely and it smells yeah, so good. You. Unfortunately, we don't have smell-o-vision. Right, right. Too bad. <laughs> uh, maybe one day. We appreciate you both coming in. Thank you so much you. and Thank we'll you. be right back.
There's still plenty of time to get out and donate to our Spirit of Giving food drive, and our Sean McDonald is live at the Walmart and hooks it with an update. Hey there, and yeah, the donations are pouring in. We're hearing so many neat stories. We had comp one company that was going to hold a Yankee swap. Instead, they put all their money together. They brought down about $400 worth of groceries and threw it in the bin here. We talked to another woman who says she grew up with a family that had a little trouble making ends meet, so she wanted to be here to donate to those in need. Remember, over the next three days, you can come to any Walmart like this one and hooks it. You can go to any Hannaford store and any Shaw's store, and you can make a donation. We're looking for non-perishable foods like these right here. You can pick up one of these bags. Real simple to do. You buy that at the register, then you dump it in over there. It goes right over to the food pantry, to the New Hampshire Food Bank. They serve about 140,000 people, so there's a very very important the need. They need this stuff this time of year, so help out if you can. And uh, we'll be here for a little while longer. And check out all the stores this weekend. Help out if you can. Back to you, Erin. All right. Thank you so much, Sean. We appreciate it. And we know that Granite Staters will be very generous. Um